A Havada Poway shooting happened more than two years ago, but today there was an element of finality as the man behind the shooting pleaded guilty to all state charges against him, including murder. In the attack, one woman was killed and three others were wounded, including a rabbi. Fox 5's Misha DeBono starts us off live from downtown San Diego with what we're learning from the courtroom this afternoon. Misha. Yeah, in exchange for his guilty pleas, 22 year old John Ernest will be sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole, plus an additional 137 years when he's sentenced in September. Your guilty pleas and your admissions, you and the DA's office agree that you will be sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole, plus 121 years to life, plus 16 years. Is that your understanding of your agreement between yourself and the DA's office? Yeah. 22 year old John Ernest pled guilty Tuesday to multiple charges in connection with the deadly shooting at the Habad of Poway Synagogue two years ago. Violated uh, Penal Code Section 187A, victim Lori K. Guilty or not guilty? Guilty. The shooting happened on April 27, 2019. 54 people were inside the Poway Synagogue when Ernest entered the lobby and opened fire with an assault-style rifle. 60-year-old Lori Kay was shot and killed. Rabbi Israel Goldstein was shot and injured on his hand, and a young girl and her uncle were also wounded. He posted an open letter on the internet explaining your planned attack that was motivated by hatred for Jews. In signing the new plea agreement, Ernest acknowledges he willfully committed the crimes and will spend the rest of his life in prison without the possibility of parole. Prosecutors were seeking the death penalty, but changed their strategy to avoid double jeopardy after federal prosecutors first received the conditional plea agreement. Well, we accepted the plea given the parameters of the conditional plea in federal court, and so we agreed to the maximum possible punishment uh, with the exception of the death penalty. San Diego District Attorney Summer Steffen released this statement, which reads in part, life in prison without the possibility of parole for the defendant is an appropriate resolution to this violent hate crime. And we hope it brings a measure of justice and closure to the victims, their families, friends, and the wider community. Now, Ernest also pled guilty to setting a fire at a mosque in Escondido a month before the uh, Chabad shooting. That's where that extra 16 years comes from. We are told that family members were consulted before the DA agreed to this deal. Ernest will be back in court for sentencing on September 30th, but before that, on September 8th, he will be in federal court, and they still have the option to go for the death penalty. That decision not yet made. From downtown, Misha Bono, Fox 5 News. All right, Misha, thank you for that.